guys, this is Erica. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fake Thai chili chicken. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Like I said earlier, today we're making the fake Thai chili chicken. Actually, I think I figured the weirdest fact of 2020 is that the Thai chili chicken that I grew up eating it's actually not a Thai dish. Oh my god, I feel so dumb. And how do I not realize that this dish is never exist in any Thai restaurant in Thailand that I've been to? Every time I travel to Thailand and I went to the local restaurant, it's like the lemon fish and like the shrimp sauce, um, veggie, like all this Thai dish that we think is supposed to be there is there, but not Thai chili chicken. It should be obvious, right? But I never noticed. I never think of a dish that we call Thai dish, but it's actually not Thai. Okay, let's start over. So start from the beginning. I wanted to make this Thai chili chicken dish on my channel for a very long time. And yesterday is the first time I actually sit down and try to write my script and did some research about the history and origin of this dish, blah, blah, blah. And when I type in the origin of the Thai chili chicken in Chinese on Google, all I see is Thai chili chicken is actually not a Thai dish. Thai chili chicken is from Yunnan, China, or Thai chili chicken is actually a Taiwanese dish, but not from Thailand. No Thai people that know this dish ever. And I was like, wait, what? What do you mean? My mind was blown. So I kept reading page after page, check out a bunch of different websites, and found out this is actually true. But let me say this first. If you're a Taiwanese or as someone that's been to Taiwan's Thai restaurant, you will know exactly what dish that we're talking about. But if you've never been to Taiwan and you're not Taiwanese, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now, then just consider this as a Taiwanese dish because it's kind of, sort of, is. <laughs> and here I'm going to tell you what caused this weird mistake. So the story starts from a Southeast Asia country called Myanmar. In 1963, the Myanmar government created a new law to start to turn the personal business into a government-owned business. And 75% of those business was actually built and run by Chinese immigrants, and a lot of them are from Vietnam. And in the next three years, the Myanmar government started a chain of different new law that is kind of targeting the immigrants, such as starting to charge extra immigrant tax for the immigrants, eliminating the value of three past banknotes with no earning at all, and even banned all the Chinese books to be published while they're closing up all the Chinese school in the country. Understandably, a lot of immigrants started to choose to move to somewhere else. The older generation of the Chinese immigrant in Myanmar started to think that their kids supposed to have the most traditional Chinese education, so that's why it leads them to Taiwan. And at the same time, the economic in Taiwan is actually rising, so that's why we need a lot more worker for our new OEM factories. OEM stands for the Original Equipment Manufacturing, by the way. To allow these new workers to come work for us in Taiwan, the Taiwanese government significantly lowered the bar for immigration. After that, a lot of Myanmar-born Chinese start gathering in Taipei, and more and more Myanmar restaurant is popping up in the area. Although in the 1970s, people in Taiwan don't really know what a Myanmar cuisine was, so the business for these restaurants were never great. And one day, a group of businessmen from Myanmar decided to open Thai restaurant instead because Thai food was actually getting really, really popular all around the world during that time. This new style of restaurant is normally mixed with Myanmar, Thai, and Yunnan China cuisine all together. So that's how Yunnan chili chicken turned into a Thai chili chicken in Taiwan. How smart but messed up is that, huh? <laughs> but anyways, what really mattered the most for food? Tastes good, right? Whatever this dish is actually from Thailand, China, or Taiwan, the only fact that will never change is that it tastes absolutely delicious. And today I'm going to teach you the simplest ways to make this fake Thai chili chicken. Let's get started! First, let's look at our ingredient here. Since we're making a simple style today, I'll teach you how I make them myself. The original fake Thai chili chicken is deep fried chicken. Although I normally don't make it that way because deep frying at home is just a nightmare and it's so wasteful for the oil and of course unhealthy. I found a way to make them taste as good but way more simple and healthy. Let's check it out! First, let's start with preparing our chicken. Take out your chicken thigh and lay it flat on the cutting board. Skin side down. Bound on the chicken's muscle direction and use your knife to slightly slice in vertical to the muscle so when we pan fry it later, it won't curl off. And also, if the meat is unevenly thick, 
slice open the thicker part so it can get cooked more evenly and faster too. Now, simply season the meat side with salt and pepper. I like to prepare the sauce before I start to cook the chicken so I can eat right after the chicken is done while it's still hot. Prepare a bowl and add in soy sauce, lemon juice, sugar, fish sauce, sesame oil, minced garlic, chili, and cilantro. I'm using the dry cilantro today because of one thing, I'm not the biggest fan of the flavor, so the dry ones is actually strong enough for me. And also, whenever I bought fresh cilantro, I just use maximum quarter of it. It's very wasteful. So recently, I just start using the dry ones. Obviously, it'll taste stronger and better if you use the fresh cilantro, so it's your choice. I like to add in crushed peanuts to add some texture into the sauce. It's optional though. Mix, mix, mix it evenly and then the sauce is done. Super easy and does not require any heat. Now let's fry the chicken. Heat up a non-stick pan in medium heat and put in the chicken thigh skin side down. Chicken skin contains a lot of oil in it and the heat will force them out very fast so if you have a non-stick surface, you won't need any oil. If not, you can add in a little oil before as well to prevent from sticking. Check periodically to see if the skin starts to turn golden. Because of the unevenness of the meat, a lot of the time there might be white spot on the skin when the other part already start turn golden. You can press the chicken down with a spatula that will help you to get it evenly cooked. And especially if you're using a cooking surface that's not exactly flat, like a wok. When the chicken skin becomes this beautiful golden color, it's time to flip it. Depending on how thick your chicken is, Mine only take around 3 minutes to cook, but when the chicken is done, just simply take it out of the pan. I'll wait around 1 minute to let the chicken cool down and crisp up, then put the chicken thigh skin side down on my cutting board to slice. Face the skin side down will make the skin harder to fall apart while you're cutting them. During the 1 minute wait for chicken, I'll take my cabbage out of the fridge crisper and cut up some cabbage slice for display. Put the chicken on top and simply pour the sauce on top and done! The Taiwanese style Thai chili chicken is done. The essence of this dish is that it's a combination of spicy, sourness, and sweet. In a lot of Asian countries, having a bowl of rice is a must for every meal. So I recommend you to cook up some rice and make a plate of veggies and enjoy! While you're enjoying this amazing dish right now, let's learn some Chinese. The word of the day today is Thai shi jiao ma ji, Thai chili chicken. Even though it's not Thai, but we can call it that. If you saw my previous video, you might see some familiar character here. Take a pause and see if you can spot it out. So the second character and the fifth character, we learned this before, is in the two different video. I'll link it above so you can check it out if you want to, but today we'll teach it again. So for the first word with two character is Thai shi. Tai shi is a fourth tone and the fourth tone. Tai shi, which means Thai style. For the second character, shi, we learned this before in a Japanese meat and potato stew video, it's a style. And the second word, which is with one character, is jiao. Jiao is a first tone. Jiao is a simplified way to say la jiao, which is chili. And the third word with one character is ma, ma, second tone, ma, which means numbness. The original Taiwanese Thai chili chicken used a peppercorn to marinate the chicken before they deep fried it. But for the simple style we make today, we don't really marinate it before. That's why the dish name has numbness inside. Ma, and last but not least, ji, ji. First tone, ji. Do you know what this is? We totally learned this before, several times maybe. It's chicken. So here you go. Thai shi jiao ma ji, Thai style chili chicken. Thank you for cooking with me today. I hope you liked the dish. Give the video a thumbs up to let me know if you try out my recipe. I upload a video every Thursday. And if you're afraid you're gonna forget about it, turn on the little bell down there so it will give you a notification every time I upload a video. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Thursday.